This is Mandy with Mandy's Adventures and today I am in Haver, Montana. And I am here at the 14th annual North Central Montana Antique Enthusiast Show here in Haver, Montana. It is going to be a super cool day. There is so much equipment here and I can't wait to see everything. And you know what? I'm taking you on the adventure with me. So let's go. Well, here I'm in Haver, Montana, and I'm with the, um, a bunch of great, great people that are with the North Central Montana Antique Enthusiasts. Enthusiasts, there we go. Okay, and they have so graciously agreed to chat with me about all of them getting together. So, who wants to talk first? Charlie, why don't you talk? I'm Charlie Inman. I belong to her. <laughs> How many years have we been doing this? 14, 14 years. years. 14 yes. years. Okay. And uh, it started out as just sort of an idea. We we all collect antique stuff and we decided we needed a show and we we don't have a club. We just kind of get together and plan stuff. It's just kind of a planning committee. We meet informally and this is how it is. We, we planned it around our kitchen table. Yep. We all got together at our house and we planned it around our kitchen table. With cookies and coffee. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Wally Dukesher and it, uh, and basically our thought originally was to have a lot of different antiques, tractors, stationary engines, cars, trucks, farm equipment, it, uh, things that, that the younger generation uh, have not seen or experienced and that they could see what farming you know, and ranching really was like back when we grew up. That now, now we're, we're ready for the younger generation to kind of fill in and take over. Hi, Arvid Oates. Uh, I joined the club a couple later, years later, I guess. <laughs> I uh, do the thrashing in Bailey, and, and uh, I just uh, won a speed record through the barrels today. <laughs> 52 <laughs> seconds. Yeah! Woo! I hope they all celebrated for you. Just give you a round. Woo! Yes. We're, we're going to call him Fast Oli from now on. <laughs> nice. Have you ever done that before? Is this the first no, time? No, no, no. Uh, yes, it was the first time. I'm mm -hmm. a big old Minneapolis bully, so I, I, I uh, that was a challenge. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Well, my name is Mark Weston. I'm the young pup of the group. <laughs> I'm a collector of uh, the gas engines. I've got a couple of tractors and I've uh, been here from the beginning. Love it. Had an uh, antique engine in my living room at one time <laughs> as a coffee table and a Christmas tree. <laughs> wow, that is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. I, I love all these guys. <laughs> I, can, I could tell. Some of you I've met before. Some of you it's the first time, but what a great group. I can, yeah. I can understand what you're saying yeah. there. And this year is uh, a tribute to one of our members we lost in 2019, Richard Skyberg. And uh, uh, it's been a great show. I wish he could have been here with us in person. Uh -huh. I'm Denny Lohmeyer. Uh, Mark might be the youngest in the group by age. I'm uh, probably the newest member of the group here. I got involved here probably five or six years ago. Uh, the first year I came up with an old garden tractor was all I had. Uh, at this point, I'm up to three farm tractors and a half a dozen garden tractors and way more stuff than I need. But it's all about having fun and letting people see what life used to be mm -hmm. and uh, sure uh, enjoy what we're doing. Nice. And so if someone like in the Haver area or uh, like, okay, so these people and Bernie, these guys and Bernie are a bunch of cool people, which yes, you are. How can they go about joining or calling somebody and saying, hey, I really want to be a part of their team. How would they go about that or part of your family? We put out a poster every year and the names are on our posters, but you know, they could call Charlie Inman. 406-262-4203. And Molly Butcher. <laughs> yeah, and my number is 265-7314. If, uh, if they can't get a hold of me, the girls know where I'm out at most of the time. <laughs> it, uh, I'm either on some old tractor or old truck. <laughs> no. but, uh, but we would we would welcome any of the, the youth coming up 
and we would take them in and show them how to run these things, how to work on them and fix them. It, uh, and granted, your youth doesn't have a lot of money like we were was starting out, but you know we'd help them get started and get going and it uh, build from there. Lovely, lovely. Thank you. Does anyone want to add anything? Oh yes. It's hard to believe, but I'm the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta quickly pick it something. <laughs> That's okay, cause you sure are handsome. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that. Okay. Yeah, she's pretty witty, huh? Yes, <laughs> yes. And we, we do have a Facebook page as well. Okay, um, what is the name of the... North Central Montana Antique Enthusiasts. Yeah, like us on Facebook. One more thing, Oli and his daughter were able to do the blindfolded barrel race together today. Yeah, and that she's, was something she's very the newest cool. member and of our And there's Dana game. standing right over there. Come on then, Dana. No, no. Okay, so so what is your name? I'm Dana Donovan. And this is my dad, and he's I couldn't be more proud of all the stuff that he does, and he's kept busy all these years and just loves what he loves to do. So it's awesome. No, oh, your dad's a character. Yes, he is. <laughs> Does he stay out of trouble or is he always in trouble? Oh, a little bit of both. No, oh, I love it. Oh. Oh. Okay, our 20 horse is a little bit of Haver's history. It was used when they did the milk of the Fresno Dam. And my husband's dad worked out there. And we don't know if he ran that engine or not, but we wish he was alive so we could ask him. Mm -hmm. you know? He had his hands on that engine, you know, yeah. and just, yeah. Yes. So, and yeah. Charlie re dug the engine out of the river, restored it, and it's out here running. Well, I just want to thank you all for taking the time to chat with me. And if you would like more information, stay at the end of the video and I will give you some more information in my description box. So thank you all so much. I really, really appreciate your time.
And it fell in the river in 1952 when we had a flood. And these guys are, are digging it out of the riverbank. This is what it looked like when my husband brought it home. And this is what it looks like now. It, I think it took him three years restoration to, you know, get it so it's like that. Yeah. This is your ambulance? Yep. This it's a 1961. Haver, Montana bought it in 1961. And I can't remember what year we bought it, but uh, it, it's been fun. We've had it in parades and drove it around town, and it's really fun to have the siren going. <laughs> I said, Bernie, we could go into business together and do Ghostbusters. We could have what Ghostbusters 3 movie, is it? <laughs> sure. Sure. Yes, we could. Oh my gosh. This is, I'm going to go around it, Bernie. Okay. How super cool to own something like this. It's history and it's fun. Wow, very well taken care of. Love it. Oh my gosh. We could go cruising, Bernie. It's really fun. Do you get a lot of looks and stuff when you... Yes, we do. <laughs> We have people sometimes that'll get out of the way when they see the ambulance like you're supposed to, you know? <laughs> Are you tempted to like put the lights on sometimes? Yes. <laughs> and yeah. do you? And the siren? Oh yes, every chance I get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rebel, you know that. Oh, Bernie, can I hang out with you one day? But can we take your ambulance out? How? Super cool. See, you guys need to come to Haver, Montana. Look at the fun you can have. We're not just a little city. You can do so many things.
I make scale model toys, trucks, replicas as a hobby. And these are some of them right here? Wow. Do you, do you copy from something or do you use your imagination to come out? All of these are replicas of equipment, engines. Some of these are antiques, like these two engines are antique engines. How long does it take you to do one of these? This one took five months. That one approximately three months. Wow. How do you have the patience to do that? <laughs> I don't know. It just yeah. I have enough interest that it's just a natural thing. And how long have you been doing this for? Probably 20 years. And how did you get started? Well, one Sunday we went out to the shop with nothing to do and I had found a plan for a little wooden toy and that's the beginning. Wow. And do you sell these at all to the public or? I have sold them, yes. I mainly do custom work, but it's a hobby so I kind of keep it to a minimum. Otherwise it gets to be work and it's no fun. Okay, well thank you so much for sharing. These are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, seriously, you've got to see this in person to really appreciate the work that has gone into these. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous. What kind of wood is that? Uh, it's a very amount or very piece of wood from beach to walnut to egg. Uh, probably beach is the main wood that I use. I've even made berries out of pine. Wow. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time talking to me. Thank you. Uh, this, is, this is a mechanical bucking horse that was entered in the New York Exhibition in 1876. And it was, it was a originally designed as an exercise machine for ladies in in the fancy spas in London and Paris it, uh, and the and the ladies sat side saddle on here it uh, and it had a small much smaller getting this engine on it and then they would move this lever here and it would move the belt over to direct drive and it would slowly slowly move and that was exercise it uh, and then the, uh, this adjusted the speed of the, of the bucking and some lady had the speed set too high and moved the lever and it kicked her, bucked her off and she flew into the front and was seriously injured and the, uh, that was the end of the machines. They were all melted down uh, World War I at, uh, for war materials. And it, uh, and the, the one, there was one left that, in England that was at, on, the, on the Titanic that came over. It, uh, well, the Titanic was sink and it, um, and the, uh, don't ask me how the one that I've got came over here. I don't know the history of how it came over, but I've got, but mine has got all the paint on it yet, and it's all complete, and I've put a, a 1903 Mogul engine on it. it uh, I do have a picture of the fitness room in the Titanic, showing this engine setting in the Titanic, yet uh, with a lady on it with the fancy clothes and dresses wow. getting her exercise oh my and, uh, gosh and so as far as anybody knows there is only two of them in existence that anybody's aware of yeah, but they were originally built in england wow and, uh, and so the uh, this is just a, a wood model that the uh that jeff mr jess made for me and i've got the original one at home and i need to build a fancy lady I've got an old cowboy riding it, <laughs> and, and I have, I've got the cowboy tied down to the saddle because otherwise he'll fly off. Oh my gosh, so. wow, and do you own this one? 
Yes, this, yes, he made this for me. Wow. Yeah, exactly. And there's no name for it, right? No, that... no, no. Boy, and look how we are today, how spoiled we are on the I exercise know, equipment I know it. today. That's exactly right. Oh, but on our rodeos, though, we could go on one of those bull riders. And... Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that yeah. is certainly some history yeah. there. Thank you so much. Okay. I really appreciate your time talking okay. to me about that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, man. I had so much fun today in Haven, Montana. I got to spend my time with some special, special people. And I want to thank Charlie, Bernie, Wally, Fast Ollie, Mark, Denny, and Dana from North Central Montana Antique Enthusiast. I want to thank them for all for sharing their passion about their hobby and their willingness to share their knowledge to the younger generation and to anyone that's interested in joining with them i'll leave all that information in my description box at the end of this video if you liked today's adventure please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos until then take care Love one another! Until our next adventure!